Hello, Nana Pig Treasures here. Boy, I'm about out of time. I am out of time. What am I saying? I'm supposed to have this video up Friday night or Saturday, and here this is already Sunday night, and I'm so sorry. It's been just crazy, crazy, crazy. My whole week has been nuts. First, I was so excited. Thursday night, I had my first live. I'll link that video up there. You gotta go see it. It was with Joey Badabing22. It was a great, great night, so go check that out, please. And then on Saturday, I was on the auction with at Pittsburgh, Anthony at Pittsburgh, and Nate. Every day I'm hustling. That was Saturday. Started 1 o'clock in the afternoon and went for a few hours. It was awesome. I sold every one of my lots. So I was happy that they are done and going, shipping out tomorrow, Monday morning. So I will also link that up there. And um, they're going to be doing another auction the first Saturday in May. That will be on Nate's channel, Every Day I'm Hustling. So you got to go check them out. Great guys. It's really funny. Don't let the beard of Nate scare you. His soft-spoken voice. He's a good guy. He really is. He's a sweetheart. So I've been kind of crazy and busy. It's going to be a real fast one here because the glass room I'll talk about today is going to be hobnail. What is hobnail? I'll give you a little bit on that as soon as we get back. Welcome back. Okay, question. What is hobnail? Hobnail. Well, first of all, it's really nothing but regular pattern of raised little knobs like things on a glass. And they get the name because it looks like what a hobnail is. It's short as a heavy thing headed nail that is used when they put in to reinforce the soles of boots and you see those little tack looking things that's the nail called hobnail so the hobnail got the name from that hobnail glass because it's just a pattern of bumpy little hobnail on the glass and it can be made by um, the pattern can be made either by blown glass that the glass is blown into a mold of whatever the pattern that uh, the maker is doing can be blown in there or it can be pressed it either way it's still hobnail hobnail is um, just arrangement of bumps I guess you want to call it let me show you real quick here I have a real nice old hobnail type glass and you see how this is this is a pattern and that is the hobnail and it's rigidy. It's bumps. You can see the bumps. And so that's just a nice little plate. This is Fenton. Fenton is one of the most common. Fenton is the most common, I think, anyways, of many of the different types of glass that there is out there. Fenton glass. Just Fenton a little Arbol. pause here. So, if this is the first time you're here, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. I hope you subscribe. Just hit that button down there. Hit that bell. You'll be reminded when I do upload videos. And do me a favor. Share it. Let your friends and family, anybody, or if you don't like it, send it to somebody you don't like. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and do that for me. I appreciate so, it very um, much. Pre-1958, the Fenton milk glass, you could tell it easily because it was less dense um, and uh, less opaque. There's that word again. If you've been watching my videos, I'll link them up there. Opaque. I ain't going into it because go watch the videos. You'll know what that means. Opaque. Yeah. Yeah, the Fenton milk glass. Fenton milk glass, hobnail glass. Uh, it's really popular back in the 1950s. That was Fenton art glass. They had uh, produced a lot of it. And it's just... Even today, you'll see it all over the thrift stores and a lot of vases. And when it's the solid milk glass, it just really isn't worth anything. It's not worth 10 cents, in my opinion. But well, I don't know, you know, I just kind of wing it. But no, I wouldn't buy that. Um, there are some other pieces that are a bit more valuable. And I do have actually another one right here. Let me show you this piece. 
And this is a really pretty piece. This is considered the moonstone opalescent, and that is because of this coloring at the top. That's the moonstone, and it's opalescent. And what is opalescent? Watch my other video. So yeah, that's what this is. And you can see this is the same pattern and it has the bumps. So that's the hobnail. That was, that's what it would look like if you they did the nail. So there's other the U.S. companies that make, of course, the hobnail glass. The, there's the um, Hobbs and Brunette Company, Fenton Art. Fenton, I just, I love Fenton glass. There's Westmoreland um, Glass Company. There's... Uh, the Kempel Glass Company. They're all the U.S. ones. Now, there's other ones in, um, across the waters there that companies that also make it too, but that's wasn't some of the U.S. Okay. ones. Fenton is. But uh, come along 1974, that's when Fenton actually um, started putting their logo on the glassware. And 1974, they had just the Fenton logo, but from 1980 and through the 1980s, you will see the Fenton logo, and then there will be the number eight, a small, tiny little eight, and that just is distinguishing that that is in the 80s, and then they did the nine for the 90s and so forth. That's how they did their milk glass, and I wouldn't buy milk glass. Some of it's really pretty, and um, some people collect it, so... You take a chance, maybe some unique pieces, but the most common ones are definitely the vases. You see them all the time in the thrift stores. Uh, I'm going to show you pictures of some that are very, very pretty, the different colors. And a lot of collectors will take and pick a color maybe, and then they'll just want to collect that color. And I did I tell you, oh yeah, my last video, I'll show you that one too. Remember the Vaseline glass, uranium glass, Vaseline Look at these pictures, Hobnail Vaseline. Oh yeah, baby. Many patterns out there, but uh, the one thing that I really like, which I'm surprised I don't have any, truthfully, because I've looked at them, I've bought some and I've sold some, are the little slippers. And you'll see those slippers everywhere. And they're not real valuable unless somebody collects them. And if they find one that they're in need of a color, or there are different patterns of those little shoes, um, those little boot shoes, whatever you want to call them, heels. Those are pretty cool. I do like them. Uh, I just don't have any, but I do enjoy them. So I'm going to show you some pictures. This is some of the colors, different patterns. There's all the colors you can think of, the obalescence, the moon color, the, uh, just goes on and on. So I'm going to show you some, and that's all I have for Hobnail. There's not a lot to say about it. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. Probably didn't learn a whole lot, but maybe a little bit. And uh, hopefully next week going to be pretty interesting. I'm trying to do a collection up here. I'm going to be getting all of my Pyrex. I love the Pyrex. So pretty soon, I don't know if next week, maybe week after, pretty soon though, we're going to do a video on Pyrex. So stay tuned for that one. And if you uh, would like to see, I'm going to go live again Thursday night. I'm going to try to do that every Thursday. And this week coming up, I'm going to have Mountain Man Treasure, good old Troy. So stay tuned for that. Come in and check us out. So I hope you enjoyed this. That's it for this week. Whew, what a crazy, crazy busy week. Hopefully it continues to get as crazy and as busy as time goes on. So see you soon. Bye.